Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys a little bit of the progress on the Solo Cell Found character. Oopsies. I've been taking it rather slow because I've been variety streaming, still playing a couple games. But so far I've actually kind of enjoyed myself in Solo Cell Found, with the exception of Labyrinth and Trials. Fuck those. But anyway, everything else has pretty much been a blast. Uh, just to run you guys down the character really fast, because I want to show you guys. We are playing Chieftain Life Righteous Fire Totems, and in the next patch, I might try this as a Scion. We'll worry about that later, though. Um, hashtag Scion Master Race Kappa 420 Swagget. So, we start off Chieftain, travel through some life, uh, you know, life, life regeneration, etc. Um, grab our Totemic Mastery. So, I waited at first. What I wanted to do is I actually came like this and just traveled right here. And I just used essentially like ground slam into sunder. Don't use ground slam, use cleave. Cleave is way better. So you basically go cleave into sunder, uh, into dual totems, and you're pretty much good whenever. Um, so yeah, I picked up the totem nodes, picked up iron wood, or sorry, totemic mastery, picked up arsonist. Now, the reason why you want to travel through totem life is remember that totem life scales your righteous fire. Your righteous fire is scaled off of your totem life. Uh, as well as, you know, the damage modifiers. And I picked up the one totem damage node here because it gives totem damage and cast speed, which should increase the cast time of RF, which basically puts less of a delay down. So you summon the totem, the totem needs to cast a spell. Uh, and same thing here, because this gives a little bit of cast speed. I was debating on going to Totemic Zeal, but I really don't think I need it. Uh, I came over here to grab Shamanistic Fury, although I would really recommend, honestly, coming down here for Ironwood first. Because then you can get like Ironwood, you can get Blood Magic, Juggernaut, Jewel, Barbarism, a lot of really cool stuff. But this way you would get Shamanistic Fury, Jewel, potentially Dual Curse if I'm running it, and Elemental Overload. But I don't think I'm running Elemental Overload right now. Um, I think I'm going to wait for more consistency before I get it. You know, like faster cast speed, faster attack speed, set up a curse on hit. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But I think what I should get, or should prioritize is elemental equilibrium because ee is pretty strong i just have to figure out if i'm going to go one two three four or one two three four no this way is way better Shit. yeah there's no point because let's see one two three four versus one two three four yeah all right cool so i'll come in here and grab the scion life and grab elemental equilibrium soon and uh, I forgot if I'm Ancestral Bond, if I ha if I can self-cast a spell and do it, or if I have to use a trap. I don't remember. Uh, I'll worry about that later, or if someone knows you can just tell me. Because that'll be a little important for our Curse on Hit setup. So, we're currently just running on a 4-link. I've got Ellie Focus, Righteous Fire, Spell Totem, and Ink AoE. Uh, Ink AoE should get swapped out for Conk on boss fights, but I don't have a Conk yet. I think I can buy one right now, actually, can't I? No, I think next quest I can buy one. Uh, leak stones have kind of been a pain in the ass. I'm gonna be honest. They're really annoying to kind of sort through and use uh, Kind of another thing. I'm kind of disliking about this and that's mainly just the league That's not even like an issue with solo cell found at all. I just really am disliking league stones I am picking up all hollowed flasks that are white and I'm transing them hoping to get like a uh, bubbling or a seething roll because that'll help me greatly uh, and all my gear pretty much sucks nothing really is too crazy on the gear uh, I haven't really farmed any. I'm using a fucking white weapon. Don't even ask. We're just gonna just shut up. Nobody saw that. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on for a minute here. Okay. So I've got purity of elements and flammability that I run, and I'm almost capped all res, so that's pretty good. And the damage is okay. It's nothing like too crazy. It's not that bad. It's not that good, but um, I'm happy with the character because I feel relatively safe, especially when I put on some Endurance Charges. I think Endurance Charges will be pretty big. Now, the other cool part is we run... Oh, shit. Yo! A fucking Crest of Parandas? Lightning Res, Life, and Block Chance? Oh! I might have to use this one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have to think about it. Um... That's a pretty nice find, though. So we also use uh, Decoy Totem because remember that Righteous Fire doesn't stack with itself, meaning that there's no point in putting two Righteous Fire Totems down on a boss unless you just want, like, extra, I guess, like, area. So you can do, like, Decoy Totem, Searing Bond, and 
uh, Righteous Fire Totem. And it's pretty good. Um, Searing Bond is going to scale off pretty much every modifier that you have except for the area tag. And, um, what is it? Your, um, what is it? Your Searing Bond and your RF Totem just scale off each other, which is pretty cool. So, hopefully I can get the Searing Bond to do a little bit of damage just to help me with single target. If not, it's whatever. But yeah, leveling's been a fucking breeze. And I'm about to get extra AoE soon. So, that's pretty cool. And I get the all res here. So we got good stuff coming up. I am still getting quite a bit more totem placement speed. And my spell totem's not even quality. So that's awesome as well, because I already feel like my totem casts pretty fast. There is one downside to going chieftain, which kind of sucks. And that's, um, it's not even a downside, but... The um, Uber Lab points here, or well, not Uber Lab, but the Tukahama's War Herald, unfortunately, does not allow my RF totems to taunt, which kind of sucks, but it's not that bad. I kind of wish it did. I feel like it'd be cool. I'd probably be like way too OP, though. I honestly think with this character, because it's solo self found, I think I'm gonna farm and like try to honestly enjoy my time and like do like actual farming methods to try to get stuff rather than just like level up. I think I'm gonna try to like, I don't know, casually enjoy myself until the beta comes. I think that's the proper way to go about it. Because like, what's the point in trying to level fast? Like, who am I racing against? What am I competing against, you know? The beta is about to introduce so much more stuff. Some other goals to, to go on with the character is uh, definitely getting a Vol Lightning Trap. Vol Lightning Trap is going to be super important. So we got to farm Vol side areas. Um, honestly, even like Vol Haste would be good. Oh, White Hollow Flask. I should probably use Shield Charge instead of uh, Leap Slam as well. Probably faster. Alira, what you doing? Dude, look at look at the decoy totem. Is this him? He's just dude, he's just taunting away, man. He doesn't give a fuck. I'm pretty sure my decoy totem can take a ball slam. Can I see his health? I can't, dude, but I'm pretty sure my decoy totem can take a ball slam. Like my decoy totem is fucking like godly totem. I don't know what's up with him, man. I need to figure out what type of chest piece we're going to use. Like, I think I'm honestly going to just try to craft an armor chest piece. Uh, or a hybrid evasion chest piece. I only say armor because, like, there's no point in me going ES because I don't want to make a CI character. So, the only real option is going armor because I'm not playing a fucking evasion marauder. The other option, though, is farming a tabula rasa, right? Because if I, if I farm for a tabula, I can use that as a six link. And I think a Tabula Rasa should be... A Tabula Rasa, honestly, like, the defenses shouldn't matter too much in low-tier maps, even in the yellow maps. The only thing I'd be concerned about is Breaches, because fuck Breaches sometimes. Weaver... Yo, I'm excited, boys. This is... This is 45% increased fire damage for those two points. That's pretty hefty. That's like all your quality gems. realize we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do against chaos resist because uh, chaos damage is gonna be a thing we're playing a life based character well I do get this purity shit I can get purity of flesh for two points or honestly I could go like every point into purity of flesh and just drop like the 1% life nodes in Scion get them DGen you're kicking their ass dude 
I'm proud of you. Uh oh. What do I drop in a scenario like this? 48 or below. Man, these breaches though. 43. <laughs> Fuck flesh offering. Ah. What the hell is this? Oh, that's the emblem. Feels unorganized inventory, man. Alright, here you go, buddy. Take it. I'm gonna need curse on hit. Might as well take curse on hit. Are you kidding me? God damn it. These league stones and shit, dude. Greeting. Hello. And then I still don't get conk. Oh, I guess I have to maybe do like the bandits or something. Anyway, though, go, or guys, that's the progress. I kind of wanted to show you guys, and we'll be playing this character uh, most likely tonight and through tomorrow, as well as some other uh, games like uh, Critica Online has been pretty fun as well. And also, I got back in touch with my uh, with my artist for my channel, and we're going to be switching the theme of the channel on Twitch. So if anyone here watches my stream, I'm sure a couple of you guys do, Kappa, then uh, that's going to be pretty fucking awesome. So we'll have like eight new emotes coming. Anyway, though, I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself on the YouTube. And uh, if you liked the video, feel free to uh, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.